Hi Sagittarius, this is your September 20th through September 26th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the lovers, we have the three of pentacles clarified by the ten of pentacles, we have the sun in the potential outcome, we have the ace of pentacles with the king of pentacles and uh, the knight of cups and we also have the eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn, you could also be dealing with a water sign Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. It's a very straightforward spread to be honest with you. There's definitely a new person coming in, a very serious person, very grounded person, could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or you could be working with this person. But either way, this person wants a commitment with you. That's what their goal is. Right? So the King of Pentacles, the card in the middle, right there on the right of the um, potential outcome is the person you're dealing with. Like I said, it could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, or this person has to do with uh, the way you make your money. It could be somebody you work with, it could be your boss, it could be a person working for a financial institution where you conduct your business, <laughs> right? Or uh, this person could just be working with money. Right? The Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, this is a work of, I mean, this is a card of work, business and finances. So like I said, this person could be somebody um, in some shape or form associated with the way you make your money. Or, this is simply the dedication from this person. You will see right away that this person is serious, they are ready to put effort, they are ready to put work into this connection just to make sure um, that it is successful. Right? The first card I came out is the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with the Gemini. The Lovers is also a card of a choice, but to be honest with you, I don't really see you needing to make a choice. But on the other hand, um, the love, pretty much everything we do involves some sort of a choice, right? So you could be choosing to uh, start a relationship with this person. The Lovers, besides that, is also a soulmate connection card. This is also a twin flame connection card if you believe in twin flames. And the Lovers could simply be the love of your life. The next card over is the Three of Pentacles and is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And yet again, the Three of Pentacles could be a card of a workplace environment or a business place, right? But other than that, the Three of Pentacles, this is the two of you building this relationship from the ground up, making sure the foundation is solid, because both of you wanted to succeed, both of you that have this common goal, which is a commitment and marriage. Speaking of a commitment or marriage, the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, you've probably guessed it, or you already know that the Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage. So this person is dead serious about um, you, <laughs> Sagittarius, all right? They do want a commitment here. The Ten of Pentacles is a very serious, very grounded, very long-term type of a connection. And that goes very nicely together with the King of Pentacles, right? That th This is the type of a uh, um, relationship or marriage the King of Pentacles would probably provide or want to have with you. Besides that, the Ten of Pentacles is also um, a card of when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them. Speaking of children, the next card over is the sun. You see how there is a kid riding a horse in the sun card? So yeah, children is definitely not out of the question. But besides that, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So chances are you will be really happy together with this person. It's a major arcana card, by the way. Um, the next card over is the Ace of Pentacles, that is the uh, potential outcome right there. The Ace of Pentacles often does come through as a proposal, but um, if it's not a proposal right away, then it's yet another indicator that this person is serious, because uh, the Ace of Pentacles is often called the golden opportunity. So this person will basically share everything they've got with you, right? And then we got that King of Pentacles, and the very last card that came out is the Knight of Cups. It could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, but most likely this is the other side of the metal, right? Um, this person is not only practical, this person is not only very grounded and serious, but at the same time very loving. The Knight of Cups 
is a very genuine, authentic love offer. So you're basically getting the best of both worlds. Practicality, financial security, stability, and lots and lots of love from this person. All right, um, looks, looks amazing. Sagittarius, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, the spread is for you. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Devil. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Wands. And we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. So this will play out for very few of you, I think. Um, you are in a relationship or you are married, but here comes this person. And they're going to make you a very inappropriate offer. For some of you, it could be your ex. Perhaps they can't let you go or they're so jealous right now that you are finally happy, you're doing great. Perhaps you're still friends on social media, they're spying on you, they see you uh, happy together with your person. And um, they want you back. But for others of you, it could be somebody new, right? Either way, this person, like I said, is going to make you a very inappropriate offer with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is not a bad card, right? But it's clarified by the devil. <laughs> the devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but I think most likely in this case, the, the devil is either somebody from the past who still is attached to you and they're jealous of you, or it could be a very toxic new person. And uh, this person, um, I think this is a pro, somebody who's done things like that before. And they're so full of themselves, they're so sure of themselves that they can get anybody. But you are about to prove them wrong, very wrong. The next card over is the Two of Swords. In this spread, I think this is you saying absolutely not. You're just remaining closed off. The next card over is the Six of Wands, and it's clarified by the Seven of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. So um, you are basically overcoming this. You are riding away from this person. Or if this is an ex, you will feel great about rejecting this. SOB. <laughs> and uh, the seven of ones clarifying the six of ones, this is you standing your ground, this is you um, fighting this person off, pushing them out of your life. The sun on the bottom of the deck, this is the happiest card in the deck. You're already so, so happy with your uh, new boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your new significant other. Yeah, so it's going to be a test for you, but I think you're going to pass it with flying colors. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Sagittarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, we're entering Mercury retrograde on the 27th, but the uh, pre-shadow period starts a few days early, so you may get more than one ex popping up. <laughs> so we have the full, clarified by the uh, Five of Swords and the Hermit. We have the King of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Fire Sign, Aries Day or Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, this is a reconciliation, Sagittarius. This is definitely a reconciliation. All right, the King of Wands in the middle. It could be you, by the way, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or the King of Wands is um, the person coming back from the past. They could be a Fire Sign, Aries Day or Sagittarius, or they're getting all fired up, all passionate about... Uh, getting back together with you, right? The first card that came out is the Fool, uh, the, the card to the left from the King of Wands. The Fool is um, a second chance. This is starting from a clean slate and forgetting about what happened in the past. Speaking of what happened in the past, the Fool is clarified by the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a card of a breakup, actually an ugly breakup. Uh, the two of you must have gotten into, into a fight or there could have been a series of fights and the last one was just basically it. It was the last nail in the coffin. However, <laughs> the coffin is being opened up, <laughs> figuratively speaking. <laughs> um, the Five of Swords is clarified by the Hermit. Uh, the Hermit is the personal Virgo card. Uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo. But I think the Hermit is this King of Wands going within, doing some soul searching, doing a lot of thinking, isolating themselves. And when they came out on the other side, they realized they were an idiot. It was their fault. They were the one who was always starting the fight. Or they were the one who caused this massive fight that then in turn caused this breakup, right? And they're going to come towards you and um, they will ask for mercy, right? 
they'll ask for that clean slate with the full card. And uh, it looks like you're gonna give them a green light. The Justice card on the bottom of the deck. It could be a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice could also play out as a major, major apology, right? And uh, the last card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck. The Ten of Pentacles is one of the commitment or marriage cards. And since this card came out last, like I said, the, the chances are the two of you will be getting back together. So hopefully it works out this time around. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Sagittarius, this week. We have the Seven of, Pentac uh, Seven of Pentacles, we have the Empress, we have the High Priestess, and we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Uh, there is no action here, but there is a lot of waiting. So it's no action. <laughs> the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I think this is the person you're dealing with or uh, this is the person who is in charge of some sort of a decision when it comes to your financial situation. If you're waiting for something to be approved, the King of Swords is the one in charge of that. If you're waiting for a promotion or a bonus at work, this King of Swords is your boss or somebody who is in charge of finances at uh, that workplace. All right, the Seven of Pentacles, the first card that came out is Waiting. Uh, that's you. The Empress, the next card over. This is um, either... The Empress, in this case, it could be financial abundance, because the Empress generally is um, abundance in its purest form, so when it comes to work, business, and finances, it could be financial abundance, right? So once this King of Swords uh, makes a decision, then uh, you will get this... Uh, financial abundance, whatever it is, in whatever form it could be, like I said, a loan, or a promotion, or a bonus at work, or government assistance, what have you. The High Priestess right next to the uh, deck, I think in this case this is something you are not aware of, right? So perhaps this King of Swords knows what you are not aware of, and that's why perhaps they're taking their time. I don't know what uh, they are aware of, but you're not, but uh, if, 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 you, if this is your spread, if this is your situation, you can reach out to them and ask them, unless you don't want to bother them anymore. If this is somebody who represents the government, then uh, they just need to figure it out or they need to get an approval from their boss or something among those lines. I don't see anything negative here. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck, so hopefully it's all going to get resolved in your favor very soon. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Sagittarius, this week. We have the Emperor, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Swords, and we also have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, you're going to get into a fight, actually a major fight. Here. That's what you're not expecting, but I think it can be avoided. Um, this fight could break out as, um, as some sort of a misunderstanding or somebody is frustrated here and uh, they're going to just go crazy because of their frustration. And it could be you, Sagittarius. I'm not judging you, I'm not blaming you. Um, in this reading, in this spread right here, we're going to talk about it and hopefully, like I said, it can be avoided. Right, so the Emperor, the first card I came out, it could be, I don't think that's you. The Emperor often comes through as a figure of authority. The Emperor often comes through as a husband or a significant other figure, right? So it could be a boss at work or it could be um, your significant other. The Emperor could also be your father, your grandfather, um, your significant other's father or grandfather, someone like that, you know? Um, the next card over is the Five of Swords. This is a card of a fight, actually an ugly fight. Um, then we got the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Seven of Cups is a card of a frustration. This is a card of uncertainty. This is a card of somebody who is confused, right? And uh, it's clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or the Knight of Swords, out of all four knights, is the knight that tends to get into fights. Because if you take a closer look at the Knight of Swords, this person um, is charging ahead. The expression there on their face is um, of someone who wants to start a fight and they got their sword out. So they are ready to uh, start this fight, right? And all of it, like I said, it could be because of that frustration we see in the Seven of Cups or uncertainty or perhaps this person is just not giving you an answer right away or they've been um, sort of 
not notifying you of something. So, yeah, the 901's on the bottom of the deck, uh, all the way to right? This is a card of a wounded warrior, so I think you're gonna lose, Sagittarius. I think that's you. So, again, like I said, this fight can be avoided, right? I think communication is going to be key here, and uh, a very calm, very rational, adult type of a communication. Um, don't just come to this person um, and give them crap right away. Just be careful. You know, I'm not saying you should be kissing their butt, but, uh, you know, just be very rational. All right? then this fight can be avoided. I don't think anything, I don't think this person is plotting anything against you. I don't think that. So, yeah, so just be careful. All right, Sagittarius, uh, that's what I got for you for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.